Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now I am super late with this <laughs> wrap up here i mean this is march we're already mid-april actually happy easter because i am filming this easter sunday i hope everybody's having a blessed easter um sunday with your family friends whomever you may be celebrating with so our first would be a disney plus original cheaper by the dozen now this is like a remake a reboot i think like a remake i think so and uh, now i do love the original ones was with Steve Martin, the one that came out like in the early 2000s, both parts. I really did enjoy it. When I heard about them doing a remake, I was just like, oh lord, here we go again. Like no originality, especially when it comes to Disney. I didn't even see the trailer for this movie. I had to watch it and I was like, okay, let's, sh let's check out this movie. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, Zach Braff and uh, Gabrielle Union will be the parents here. Surprisingly enough, I didn't despise the movie. Now this one, unlike the original two that focused more on the kids and how they're feeling on moving somewhere new and you know changing everything because that does still happen here we are focused more on the parents so i could definitely see that being an issue for a lot of people at the end of the day it wasn't great i definitely would definitely i would ugh, lord i swear i saw out of practice i wouldn't watch this one over the original movies i thought it was an okay movie um very close to enjoyable it just had a lot of problems with it as well a lot of decisions that were made I was like, uh, I don't know. Up next would be a theatrical release, Lost City, which stars Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. Did I review this? This is the second movie here that I think I reviewed. Wait, I don't think I reviewed it. I think I only reviewed one movie last month. Anywho, this is a movie that it was a lot of fun, honestly. It really, really was. It's a nice little kind of romantic adventure. I love me some Sandy. I love Misha and Shannon and I love that Brad Pitt's in this movie as well. He has like a small little role. It's not really like a cameo. Daniel Radcliffe comes on and gets Mr. Harry Potter and he's actually the villain here. Surprisingly enough, he plays a really good villain. I totally did not see Harry Potter when I was seeing him as a villain. I mean, at first I was like, oh, you're the villain. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I thought it was pretty enjoyable um i think it definitely could have been a little bit better i do recommend this especially if you are somebody who enjoys Sandra Bullock uh movies uh up next would be another disney plus original turning red now this one apparently is very controversial please people do not unsubscribe for me because i am on uh the not so good side of things when it comes to this movie i did not even see a trailer for this either the poster itself just did not call my attention at all. I had absolutely no intention of watching this movie, kind of like Cheaper by the Dozen, but I just kept hearing all the things about this one. I didn't really hear nothing about Cheaper by the Dozen. It was just something that, like I said, didn't have anything else to watch. I was like, okay, we'll watch that. But Turning Red, I just kept hearing so many like, love, great, and then like, oh, it just wasn't really for me. I turned off the movie about 15 minutes in because it was so freaking annoying. The little girl, oh my god, I just couldn't with her. Turned it off, had a chill. I don't know, I think I circled back to it later that day and I was like, okay, let's let's give it more of a try. If it was just me, I would put it under the you tried. But no, no, because it gets a lot of love. So I'm just gonna put this one under the four kids because definitely it's four kids. It's actually more for like preteens, I think yeah like going into those teenage years i will applaud pixar for um targeting such grown up um topics your first period in this case she wasn't really her first period but just the fact that we're talking about that in a disney pixar movie we're talking about showing pads animation of course is beautiful i mean it's pixar it's just as a whole it wasn't for me all right we're gonna move on to netflix the adam project now this does star uh ryan reynolds um i don't think he's as ryan reynolds -y as he normally is but we still we still we still <laughs> oh lord we still do get that part of him now there are some people that are being funny and say that this is the sequel to 13 going on 30 uh just because we do get the reunion between mark ruffalo and jennifer gardner they have a kid their kid is um you know um ryan reynolds we're in the future we're in the past we're in the present we're like time traveling this is a time traveling sci-fi type of movie personally not a huge like sci-fi fan but this movie right here oh my god this movie does it great 
I really, really love this movie. I'm going to say it was um, a great movie. You know what? No, because I did have some issues with it. Oh, but it does. It's very, very close to awesome. I think if we had like a different villain, could have been to the awesome. I think that was like one of my main issues was the villain. Walker Scobble? Scobble? Now, he plays young Adam, which is the young version of Ryan Reynolds. Wow, he... Amazing, amazing. He could definitely or will play Deadpool in like 15, 20 years, whatever, when he's grown up. Great cast. Very emotional. Loved it there at the end. Oh my God, have your tissues ready. I was not prepared for it. Up next would be Hulu, and this is Fresh. Now, Fresh, I totally thought was going to be about something else. I mean, you see that hand right there? I honestly thought it was going to be something else, like really did like more like stuff <laughs> i don't want to give it away you probably don't want to eat anything well i don't know the pants like if you have a weak stomach might not want to be eating like dinner with it well maybe make it like vegetables you know nothing meaty nothing meaty uh i was eating an apple i thought it was really really enjoyable but i know a lot of people don't like stuff like this but like when stuff is happening it's very like controlled and not gory and bloody. It's just the concept of what's there and you know. Mm. Okay, no, you know what, it was great. <laughs> yeah, it was a great movie. Yes, it's a great movie because there's like some twisty. And then the end, oh, that end was like, oh, yes. I just wanted more from it. Like, I want to know where you ended up after that. Like, mm. and then there was this one guy, oh, I love because he knew what was up. He knew what was up. He wasn't trying to be this little dumb, let me go and investigate. Oh, hell no. This black man said, oh, fuck this shit. Let me go over there. Because you know what? Us brown people, we know what's up. You know, we hear something scary. We ain't going to be going on, you know, like some people. Oh, let me go see what's going on. Fuck that shit. Psh. You on your own. I don't care if I'm trying to come over here and rescue you. I ain't going to die for you. I ain't going to die for you. Moving on, okay? To another theatrical which actually at this point now i think it's already on hbo max i think today or tomorrow it's gonna be on hbo max or in a couple days it's coming to hbo max you guys it did not have that dual release the batman which i have a review on i'm gonna tell you right now favorite of the year favorite of the year it's more like a noir detective type of deal love the villains Oh yeah, we got we got uh, the penguin, we got the Riddler, we got Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, amazing, loved her, yes bitch, she was hot. Colin Farrell as the penguin, unrecognizable, unrecognizable. That that car scene, oh that car scene, you guys was so good. Paul Dano, Dino Dano as the Riddler, oh yes. Woo. Oh, we also have another villain, Falcone. He was really good as well. Um, that one was played by, and let me see here because I forgot his name. John Tutoro? Ugh. So lastly would be Everything Everywhere All at Once. I'm not 100% sure if this is a March release or April. I technically saw it in April, like that first week of April. I looked it up and it looked like it had like a release in March at Southwest by Southwest. And then it said another like at the end of March, but I think this was like one of those like limited March releases and then it went full in April. I don't, I don't know. We're just gonna keep it here. It's there, it's here already. So we're gonna talk about it. Um, I really didn't know much about this movie, but I had heard a lot of great things about it. I was like, okay, I gotta watch this movie. We gotta, we gotta check it out. Now Michelle Young, she does amazing, you guys. It's kind of like a, a multiverse, kind of interdimensional, I don't know, like, you're able to channel your other versions of yourself into you. So if you want to like no karate, then you can channel into another one that they could connect you through your mind. And then now you know like karate, you'll be like, wah, 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 wah. oh no, you fight with that pinky. Wah, 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 wah. That was so cool. It had like a moment that it kind of, uh, like it died a little bit down for me. And then we picked it back up and it was really, really fun. Um, it does have a very, very heartwarming like scene there at the end that unfortunately I didn't really connect to. One of my sisters did said that she got a little bit teared eye, but I feel that it was right 
after kind of like that little downfall that kind of took me out of the movie a little bit so i didn't get emotional because usually i would Cause like even when i was watching that part i was just like i was a little surprised that i didn't get emotional now stephanie no sé i'll put her photo up right here oh my god she does amazing so so good like stand out for me costumes and makeup involved in everything loved it loved it loved it loved it uh jamie lee curtis also has um a little uh, part in here well not like a little part she she goes out in the movie as well and i also enjoyed her when she's in it um very underrated i don't think that too many people are talking about it but if you do find this movie in your local theater i highly highly recommend you go see it because i really want this movie to like succeed and i really don't want it to go under the radar it is a favorite of the year as well it does have subtitles as well so that might be an issue for some people but don't let that like take you away from anything like come on just read a little bit okay so these are the seven movies that i saw in the month of march let me know down below if we saw any of the same things do you agree do you disagree if we disagree that is totally fine of course film is subjective i'm sure the one I'm going to get the most for is uh, Turning Red. But heck, I put it in the four kids section. I think that's perfect, right? But it is what it is. Before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. I will be back for regular uploads in May. My month, like sabbatical, will be up by then. I definitely have been enjoying my time off. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.